The only anti-Semitism that I remember very vividly was on Kristallnacht, Crystal Night, November 10th, 11th, 1938, when I was awakened, I was almost seven, and I was shown the synagogue, which was right across the street from where my grandmother lived, burning, and men being herded onto trucks. There was a fire engine supposedly there to try to put the fire out, but actually they were spraying water on, over the building instead of into the building. And my grandmother suspected that we would all be taken away and put together some bedding and some food, but that did not occur. They only took the men away, and the synagogue was pretty well burned out, and I remember that picture very well in my mind. On the day after Kristallnacht, Nazis in uniform came to the house and looked for all the younger men. My grandfather at the time was in his uh, late 60s, or early 70s, and they didn't really want him. They wanted my father and some other younger guys who were around. My father saw them drive up to the house and he jumped over a fence and went to a non-Jewish neighbor's place and hid in the attic under some straw. Stayed there very quietly. He looked through the cracks in the floor and saw the neighbor put on his coat and left the house. So my father thought he was going to go to the Gestapo and tell him who was in the house. But his wife said, no, don't worry. Uh, he's going to church to pray for you. So after a few hours, uh, things kind of quieted down. The Nazis left the area. And my parents then came to get me from Boyton back to their home. And my father almost immediately decided that it was time to leave Germany. So he went to Berlin to try and organize visas for the family to get out of Germany. And was able to get us visas to go to Peru. That was in November, shortly after Kristallnacht. And uh, we left on January 21st, 1939, by boat, and arrived in Peru about a month later, together with 800 other refugees on, on this ship, at which time we were informed that the visas had been revoked because there was a pro-German revolution in Peru in the meantime. And the captain of the ship said, not to worry, uh, we'll take you back. So my father and some other people collected some valuables and under police guard, they went out to the city of Lima and finally were able to get visas to get into Bolivia.